So welcome back. Let's do the crossword together. Let's wind down together. My name is Christopher, as always, and uh, we're going to jump into a Tuesday grid here by Robert S. Gard and edited by, of course, the great Will Shorts. Today I'm having a basic Rouge de France, um, just a red from France. It's exactly how it's labeled. It's a dry um, wine. Um, not quite as intense, but really nice on the uh, on the palate and the nose. What you'd expect from the area where it was grown, the Mosul Valley. So lots of cassis and red tree fruit, i.e. red apples and cherries. Yum stuff. So let's wind down together and let's knock out this Tuesday grid. So let's take a look what we got here. Okay, get my time where I can see it and get my keyboard over here where I can see it. Male initials since 1971. That's a very special year to me. It's the year my Shotzi was born. Male initials. I'm assuming that's the United States Postal Service, but I don't know for sure. Don't know what else it would be, though. A small recess. Looks like it's probably going to be a nook. I removed the fastenings from... Un something evening party would be a soiree. Again, go through and get the stuff that you know in that section of the grid, and then go back and work on your suspicions, which you think it is. So, tools for fireplaces, probably gonna be pokers. And this is looking like it is the nook that I suspected. And a winter item on a car's roof rack would be a ski. And evidence of a day at the beach. This looks like it's probably gonna be a bikini line or something like that. We don't have enough room for lines, so I'm gonna leave that as it is. Spleen, um, I think that's ire. Fooey, uh, uh, remove the fastenings from, yeah, I think it's unbind. Unbind is what we're dealing with there. Partner of ceases and desists. And let's see, Shakespeare's, oh, is it Timon? I should know that. Um, yeah, I think that's right. So we have fooey, it would be nerds. Has anybody ever actually used that word? Nerds? Okay, uh, Ultima Maker. Uh, if that was an ultimate maker, I would say it's my wife. Middle of a classic boast from Caesar. So he says, I came, I saw, I conquered. So uh, let's see, it'll be the Ritz Carlton here. Then we have what? Uh, drill into Hank Aaron holds the Major League Baseball record for these for short. Those would be runs batted in or RBIs. Smidgen, I think, is an iota. Fishing net would probably be a trawl. So what do we have here now? Uh, mindful based practice is Zen, I think here. So drill into, bore into, and a bikini tan. A bikini tan? Is that a thing? I don't know. I don't know. I don't feel like that's a thing. Bikini tan. Uh, let's see, cop turned vigilante in a post-apocalyptic film. Yes, I'll never forget it when I was a kid watching this movie, Mad Max, and thinking to myself, wow, he's eating dinky dye dog food. So science is like sometimes something useful comes out of it. That's not the reason we are doing it. Okay, yes, Richard Feynman, that is sex. Is science is like sex. Sometimes we do it. Ave Maria, of course. Um, chocolate confection with a molten core. I guess this is a lava, lava cake. I don't eat cakes. So I don't know. Courtier, who oversees Hamlet's duel with Laertes, and that was not Yorick. That was Yorick was the um, jester. Osric. Osric. Got it. Osric. Again. I mean, here we go. Again. Shakespeare. Majors. Unite. 
because it will come in handy here. Spanish girlfriend is an amiga, or if she's especially cute, amigalita. Lettuce or cabbage is probably gonna be moolah. Any takers? Uh, and in a deadpan manner, I think that's dryly. Hero of Narnia and C.S. Lewis novels, and that's uh, 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 Aslan, I think. Yes, Aslan. So, so here we got an oligarch, member of a power ruling elite. So that's working out for us. And here we have a b-baller in California, as in a basketballer, and as an L.A. Laker. Part of a decent-sized plot would be an acre, acre Laker. I like it. 1224 or 1231, that would be an Eve. And what do we have here? Cleric's title for short, The Reverend. Speaking of Eve, my birthday's March 8th. That makes March 7th, Christopher's Eve. Celebrated area. Belligerent in British slang. I think that's aggro. Um, effect of secondhand pot smoke with that H at the end. I'm thinking this is a contact high. Um, not that I've ever had one, especially just going by the coffee shops in Amsterdam on the weekend. Small songbird. Who gets to say this out loud? Ooh, it's a tit. Um, tits and boobies. They're crossword fodder for birds. Tiki bar drink. Looks like it's going to be a Mai Tai. And here we have upper part of a Van Dyke beard informally. That's not a soul patch, right? That's the stash. So, uh, let's see. Ted Blank, author of the best-selling short story collection, Exhalation. Oh, man, I know this. German, Jesus, ach, ach. That's an ach, du. Oh, you... Given the way things appear, as it is. And, oh, that's Ted Chiang. Ted Chiang. And largest Chinese ethnic group would be the Hun. Group, like three men of a nursery rhyme. I'm in a tub. Rub-a-dub-dub, three men in a tub, right? Yes, belligerent is going to be aggro. I think I'm spelling that correctly. Crooner Mel, who was called the Velvet Fog, is Torme. And what do we got here? Made an irreverently sarcastic comment. I guess snarked. I've snarked before, once or twice. Hard to believe for most of you, I'm sure. Signature Obama achievement in brief is the Affordable Care Act, or the ACA, or more norm commonly known as Obamacare. NHL team with a mythological eponym. And I guess these are... Kraken, maybe? Presided over a roast. Let me so M seed. Lethal looks like it's gonna be deadly. Pretty easy Tuesday, isn't it? Toy Story Boys Andy. And we have initials before a nickname, probably also known as AKA. Um, let's see here. Let's try to get some of these others knocked out. D Gray, don't know. Male admirer, probably a bow. And uh, miles away, afar. Novelist uh, Wiesel, that's Ellie, Ellie Wiesel. One of Islam's five pillars. We've got prayer, fasting. And, uh, oh, the Hajj. Sorry, I'm used to it spelled with two J's. But it, yeah, one J is acceptable. Rudely welcome the away team. So probably jeer. And what do we got here? Flight of Fancy. Okay, there's one of 49 across. Um, descriptions of 17, 25, 36, and 49 across in different senses. Bikini 10, Lava K, okay, Contact High. Oh, half baked, right? Okay, Afghan's Place is in Asia, I think, and Degrade would then be a base, right? So now what do we got here? Uh, patch things up, say, I'm gonna go with so. Um, I mean, why not? Uber fan, I think that's a stan. I think that's a stan. Make a mistake, it'd be air. And let's see, flight of fancy. Unimportant things, well, trivia, I don't know, probably trifles. 
uh, common sight among the Norwegian coast. Let's see here. Swiss founder of analytical psychology and the Gestalt stream of consciousness theory. This would be Carl Jung. Big fan. Uh, flight of fancy. Looks like it's going to be a wild idea. A wild idea. Be there. It'll be wild. Well, la di da. I guess. Chip in. Maybe add. Funereal comp compositions. These are. Um, Dilger? Didgers? Did uh, Common side North Norwegian, Norwegian coastline would be a fjord, then I'm assuming. Um, dirges, dirges, that finally came to me. Dunkable edible, looks like it's gonna be a donut. Uh, and this would be trifles, I think. Unimportant things, trifles. What do we have here? Army squad leaders. Well, those are. Staff sergeants, but we don't spell staff sergeants SSGTS in the army. We do that in the Air Force and the Marines, maybe, but not in the army. It would just be S, uh, SG. Okay, so we got here big name in pharmacy. It's probably going to be CVS or that S if we complete the staff sergeants. And I think we've got them all here together. So, uh, how did we do, Bob? Yes. This is nice. 10 minutes and 23 seconds. Not bad for reading. You know, reading along and trying to entertain uh, everyone. Um, but uh, again, as usual, au revoir. Arrivederci. Au revoir. Ciao. Shalom. Masalamati. Anyang hiaseo. Adios. Have a wonderful day. Be safe out there. Like I'm the safety expert on your life. But be well. Enjoy what you have rest of your day. Take care.